Hey, how's it going everybody? In this video, we'll be going over where every puppet combo villain comes from. Now, I know this is a weird topic, but I thought it'd be a fun one. And the games actually do have a bit of lore that tell us where most of these killers come from. Now, this list is missing some killers, but that's only because I couldn't find any info or data on them. But for the most part, we do have most of them. So without further ado, let's go straight into the video. Okay, so first off, we're gonna go with the butcher. Now, this one's pretty obvious and, and given to us in newspapers throughout the game. The butcher actually resides in a city in Oklahoma called Cedarville. Now, at first, me and many others thought the game actually took place in a location called Mill Creek, um, which is also in Oklahoma, but it turns out that location is actually the, the setting for Night Shift, which is, of course, the prologue to stay out of the house. They are both in Oklahoma, but in terms of the, you know, where the house is, the actual house, it's in Cedarville, Oklahoma. Now, we know this because of different notes that we get throughout the game, mostly the newspapers that we find. I'm going to read one right here. It says Mill Creek. Oklahoma. The gruesome realization of the incompetence of our once trusted police force shines its head once again after the six in what can now be considered an undeniably connected series of kidnappings from late night shops and 24 hour restaurants across a large portion of western Oklahoma. There are also two other notes near the beginning of the game that indirectly point towards stay out of the house taking place in Cedarville specifically with the first note coming from the owners of the mill. And basically in that note, the owners are selling the mill because of radiation exposure. And also one of the owners states that him and his wife will be leaving Cedarville in hopes to find a better treatment center somewhere else. There is also another note in the church near the house where the cornfields are. And this note is a PSA for all of the followers of the church, which is called the Cedarville Assembly of God. And I will read the note right now. It says, to all members of the Cedarville Assembly of God, this letter is to inform all parishioners at the Cedarville Assembly of God of some unfortunately sudden and upcoming changes to our standard curriculum. So yeah, as you can see, all of these notes one way or another tell us or indirectly state that this area takes place in, you know, Cedarville specifically. Now this one's pretty much given to us. A lot of people already knew this and, and I of course went over this in my butcher versus none video so if you want to see that you can go ahead and click that but yeah the butcher comes from oklahoma next up we have the night ripper now this one's pretty easy if you probably couldn't tell the night ripper is from new york city where he wreaks terror on the people of new york during 1981 and he even shares the name of a real life italian slasher film that exists in real life now I'm gonna read this directly off the Puppet Combo Wiki and it states, The Night Ripper is a misogynistic Jack the Ripper-esque serial killer who preys on the population of New York City's slums in 1981. So this one's pretty obvious as well. Just the entire vibe of Night Ripper is very, you know, 1980s, 1990s New York, you know, very slasher. And that that was genuinely the inspiration for the game. And even the killer as well is, is an inspiration of the real life Italian slasher who also went by the Night Ripper. Now, if that wasn't enough evidence, the official site for Night Ripper on the Puppet Combo site actually directly straight up tells you that the game takes place in 1989 New York. So yeah, this game definitely takes place in New York. So yeah, if any of you guys ever travel to New York, make sure to be careful because you might have a duck chasing behind you, hunting your cheeks down. And I don't think anybody wants that at all. Okay, so next up on the list, we have Terrence from Day 7. Now, I know Terrence isn't really considered a villain, per se, um, given his circumstances, but we are going to count him because we do know his location. Obviously, I need to add more to this list, so <laughs> we're going to be going over Terrence. So Terrence actually originates from some city in Chicago during the 80s and 90s. Now, we don't know what city exactly, but we do know it's Chicago. It's central Chicago, I believe, because of its, um, you know, city like appearance and reading directly off the wiki, it states the design of the subway Terrence commutes with is the 2600 series model of the Chicago elevated metro system. This, along with the mention of VCR, indicate the setting to be 1980s, 1990s Chicago. Now, this one was a little bit more difficult to figure out because in general, it does look like a city. It could be any city, you know, it, it does. It's not really specific to any, um, you know, place on Earth. It's just it looks, you know, at first glance, it just looks like any regular old city. But again, thanks to the people who actually, you know, dig into the game and actually, you know, pay attention to the models and stuff like that. This is a model that, 
you know originates from chicago so yeah terrence and all of its events wait maybe not in the back rooms but in terms of when terrence is actually you know in real life and before he falls into the back rooms that whole setting is in 1980s 1990s chicago which is pretty cool i was actually surprised to figure out that day seven actually took place in chicago that seems pretty random for a public combo game to be in but i like that that's pretty awesome next up we have larry now this one's a little bit more difficult, but we do know he is somewhere in Texas. Now how do we know that? Well, Larry actually originally comes from the game Texas Butcher, which is obviously a parody of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre series. Now Larry first appeared, I believe, in the game called Texas Butcher, which is its own slasher, and I believe it's a game very similar to Christmas Massacre and Blood Maniac. I haven't played it, but from gameplay I've seen, that's pretty much what it looks like. Again, reading off the Puppet Comma Wiki, it states, According to Texas Butcher, Larry was born and raised in a strict Catholic household somewhere in rural Texas. He seems to have had a convoluted relationship with his overbearing, temperamental mother who be verbally and physically abusive toward her son, regularly hitting Larry for his apparent mental handicap, which is often followed up or interlaced with overt pampering and babying of Larry. Sheltered, he relied mostly on his pet dog known as Doggy for companionship. At some point during his childhood, he was sent to a Catholic boarding school where he committed his first mass murder on Christmas Day 1959. Now obviously all of you and I know about Christmas Massacre and yeah, it turns out all of this takes place in Texas. Now I didn't know that at all. This one too also came as a surprise to me and please don't call me stupid, but it's because I, for some reason, you know, I thought snow wasn't, <laughs> I didn't think snow was something that happened in Texas. Not that it never happened. Of course, Texas is huge and I'm sure there's parts of Texas that have snow, but for some reason I associate Texas as like being some like very like hot, warm state. As you guys know, in Christmas Massacre, there's a bunch of snow and no also in Blood Maniac, there's a bunch of snow. So this one actually caught me off guard. But again, I'm just dumb. But yeah, Christmas Massacre and Larry is posted up somewhere in Texas. Now it doesn't tell us. Now it doesn't tell us exactly where in Texas, but we can safely assume that Larry is somewhere in Texas. Next up on the list, we have Dr. Edward Sullivan. Now, right off the bat, Dr. Edward Sullivan and in extension, the glass staircase takes place somewhere in London. Now I know that sounds pretty weird, but given from notes in game. It actually backs up this claim so so in the game there's a note written from juliet and labeled juliet's journal number one and it states november 11th 1918 edward at last returned home from the great war i give many thanks to the lord for his safe return from germany to think that just days before he was ripped from me to be a doctor in the war we were married he's returning to his job at queen mary's hospital in london what a dreadful drive it is back and forth day in and day out and with the epidemic that's been plaguing the countryside well i worry for his health god willing he'll be all right as he helps these poor souls so yeah as you can see from this quote here it says he's returning to his job at queen mary's hospital in london that right there tells us all that we need to know as we know throughout the game Dr. Edward Sullivan was uh, an experimental type of guy. He, um, as you can see, he morphed into whatever he turned into at the end of the glass staircase. It says that he was part of a war in Germany and he returned back to the hospital in London. So we can safely assume that this game takes place in London. Again, you guys can go to the Puppet Comma Wiki and search up any killer you want or villain or whatever, any character to be honest. And under their picture and all that stuff and their age and their name, it will show you, you know, something called residency, and that does show you where they are. So if you guys want to look for this yourself, you guys can. That's where I got my information. Obviously, I played all these games, too, so I have a somewhat idea. I have somewhat of an idea where these guys come from. But again, this is not possible without the Puppet Combo Wiki. So yeah, thank you to this wiki. This thing is clutch. Next up on the list, we have the Driller Killer. Now, the Driller Killer seems to be all over the place, but is mostly located in the Pocono Mountains of Pennsylvania. He's also been seen in Long Island, New York as well. So yeah, he, he seems to be located anywhere in the US, to be honest, which is kind of scary. You know, that is that is really scary. So how do we know this exactly? Well, we actually find different notes in the game Power Drill Massacre that actually allude to where he's located at. So the first note you find is actually pretty close to the factory, and it refers to two campers named Mason C. Sargent and Lori Summers, who went missing in Long Island, New York since June 8th. Their campsite and belongings were found, but they were never found, which is pretty scary, but we all obviously know what the Driller Killer does. Alternatively, there's also another note within the factory that also allude to missing campers somewhere in the Pocono Mountains. The note reads, Pocono vanishings, no trace of missing campers. 
April 4th, 1985. Since 1978, 12 campers have disappeared over a 100 mile stretch of the Pocono Mountains. We conducted dozens of rescue missions each year. People come up here to camp and hike all the time without any experience. Accidents happen. While most rescues are successful, these 12 have stumped park rangers and local police. So yeah, as you can see, there doesn't seem to be one exact location that the driller killer seems to be at, but it is suspected that he is located somewhere in the northeastern region of the US. Now where exactly we have no idea, because the Pocono Mountains span four Pennsylvania countries, Pike, Monroe, Carbon, and Wayne, but we can make a safe assumption that if it were to be one of these places, it would be Monroe. Now why is that? Well, Megan and Jeff in the beginning of Power Joe Massacre actually crashed by Route 447. Now the Puppet Combo Wiki says that Megan was traveling west of the hallway to discover the Brandon Sawmill, probably putting its position in Monroe County. Again, the location will never be exact, but we can make a safe assumption that it is somewhere in this area. Next up on the list, we have the East Ripper. Now the East Ripper originates from Monroe, Michigan. I'm not sure how this is known, but he is said to have grown up near the city of Monroe and took a seasonal position as the Easter Bunny in, in a mall. This one, I don't really feel confident saying because there's no in-game lore or anything in-game that points to this. In fact, I actually believe this information comes from the book based off Murder House. Now, as you guys know, there are books based off some of the games. I'm pretty sure it's a book based off of Nun Massacre. And I believe these books actually expand the lore or provide more information and technically are canon. So I would like to, you know, at least give this some merit. I will read this off the wiki, which states, not much is revealed about Tom's early life. What is known is that Tom grew up together with his brother Anthony in a large house in the back country of Monroe County, Michigan, near the city of Monroe. In late March of 1979, Tom took a seasonal position as an Easter Bunny at Monroe Mall. So yeah, as you can see, the Easter Ripper or Tom actually comes from Monroe, Michigan. Now, one thing I really like is that it seems Puppet Combo likes to make the settings of each game and the origins of each killer, you know, pretty random. So they're not always in one location. You have some in the US. So a lot of these killers come from oh, like anywhere in the US, which is pretty cool. So, I mean, it's not cool what they do. Obviously, I do not mess with the Easter Ripper at all for what they did, Um, but I do find it cool that Puppet Combo likes to, you know, switch it up and make these guys come from, you know, very what would seem random locations. So nearing the end of the list, we have the Womb Ripper. Now, unironically, the Womb Ripper comes from Ohio, where she attended classes alongside Pizza Dude in Youngstown, Mahoning County. Now, little was known about her besides that she was employed at West End Laundry and was frequently subjected to abuse by her boss, Louis Kennedy, who had a reputation as a philandering sleazebag. I don't, you know, I know it's a joke. I don't know how relevant it is now um, to make fun of Ohio. Not that there's anything wrong with Ohio. It just became a meme, but yeah, unironically, the Room Ripper does come up from Ohio, where she went to college, I believe. And she went to college with the pizza guy that we actually encounter in the game. And we know this, too, because he talks about her. He refers to her. Um, he even says that he says that he used to know her or something and even refers to her, you know, her pretty shady background of what happened in the laundry mat. So, yeah, we can safely assume that the Room Ripper comes from Ohio. So finally on the list, we have the nun. Now the game doesn't state directly where the nun comes from or where the school is located at, but we can use in-game files to get a vague idea of where it's at. So the in-game files actually state that Miss McDonald, the mother to the child we play as in Nun Massacre, lives at 2409 Shobe Lane, Denver, Colorado. So we can assume the Catholic boarding school and inversely the nun is located somewhere in the mountains within Colorado. So this one's more of a this one's more of a stretch because people did need to go into the in-game files to figure out this note and find, you know, this this area and this residency. But given that there's no other information on it, this is the best, you know, we're going to get to where nun massacre takes place. Um, Again, it's also another stretch because that's just where Miss McDonald gets her note. You know, that doesn't necessarily mean where the Catholic boarding school is. As as you saw in the beginning of Nun Massacre, Miss McDonald actually gets a note which which starts the journey of Nun Massacre. And I just realized now I said earlier that you play as the kid. I'm, I'm wrong about that. I meant that you go to the school because your kid was, you know, was killed or whatever, and you go there to figure out what happened. So yeah, I was wrong about that. Sorry. So yeah, again, this this isn't fully this isn't fully fact because you know that's only where Miss McDonald was living at at the time. We have no idea how far the trip was from Miss McDonald's home to the Catholic boarding school. 
We don't even know whether it's located even in Colorado at all. But again, like I said before, that is our best assumption and that's something we're just gonna go with. Um, so yeah, the Nun, Nun Massacre takes place somewhere in Colorado, in the mountains too. Nun Massacre takes place somewhere in the mountains of Colorado. Alrighty guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I tried figuring out where other killers come from, but they just don't have any information. I tried figuring out where Billy came from, the mutilator. I was gonna say Santa, but I mean, come on. Planet of Bloodthirsty Santa. Santa is just somewhere in the North Pole, you know? It's, yeah. I tried figuring out where Dylan came from, the Booty Cheek Creek Freak. Yeah, I tried figuring out where all these guys are, but there's absolutely no information about that. And that's all right. You know, Puppet Combo doesn't have to provide like an entire backstory, the entire lore, where people are at. So I think, you know, some things are better left unknown, which kind of add to that scare factor. As far as where Puppet Combo killers are, these are, for the most part, what I believe where they come from and again i tried my best finding where the other killers came from which is what you know which is why this sh this list is a little shorter than my usual list but again there's nothing i can do about that i only i only wanted to put you know people had that we have a good estimate where they could come from in this video so yeah that's gonna be it for the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching i got another video coming out soon I think you guys are gonna like that one too and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace